Hi everybody. So today we're going to do a uh, fish curry, a Malaysian style fish curry. I had a request for that, so I'm going to do that today. I'll show you how to do it. It has a little bit of acidity and a little bit of coconut milk. All right. So we have a big pan. Get as big a pan as you can get. Turn the heat on to high. Right. Uh, we have some shallots. You can use red onion as well, but I'm going to use some shallots. So slice it lengthwise because you don't actually want it to break down. You just want it to uh, get soft. So don't cut it this way. You got to cut it this way so it kind of stays intact. Oops. So we have shallots. They're really strong. I'm tearing a little bit into the pan. Add a little bit of oil. Okay. And then we're going to add some garlic too. Just smashed. Uh, not chopped, so that's easy. Okay. And you don't even have to smash all of them, really. Just, just maybe the big pieces. Okay, and that goes in as well. All right, so the, the curry paste that I'm using is this one right here. Okay, and it says to me some asam pedas. Let me say it's tamarind in it, in it. It's a little bit sour. Uh, you can look at the links below to get it, okay? If you can't find it at your local Asian grocery. So I'm gonna put that in. One is actually usually pretty strong, so it's enough. All right, just squeeze it in. If you want to make it yourself, this is basically Chili, fresh chili, lemongrass, galanga, shallot, a little bit of ginger, some garlic, uh, some curry spices, all cooked in oil until you get this kind of paste. Okay, so that's going. You don't have to cook it very long. This is the fish, right? This is a simple uh, striped bass that's whole, which I got from the supermarket. It's clean, so we're going to drop it right in. Just like that. And get rid of that. I'll rinse my hands real quick. Now, normal vegetables are eggplant, right? Asian style eggplants. Uh, if you can get it, you can put in okra as well. Whole okra, not chopped. But I didn't have any. So I'm not going to put that in today. Okay. And basically, it's just a, you know, cut it any way you want. I'm just going to cut it this way, which results in kind of random shapes. Okay, put some in. Uh, I'm going to put in another one. What the heck?
Okay. So that's eggplant. Some tomatoes. All right, tomatoes. We're gonna put in some tomatoes. Uh, for color as well as flavor. As you can see, it's a very easy recipe because everything just goes in. Okay? You don't have to cut it too small. Okay? Have some lime leaves. I'm going to put in some lime leaves as well to flavor it. These uh, were brought some time ago, so I froze them. You can freeze them. They freeze pretty well. Put them whole. As much as you want. About eight pieces here. And then we're going to add some water. We can use the water to rinse off some of this extra seasoning. Shake it a little bit so it doesn't burn at the bottom. Okay, and that's it for now. We're gonna close it, bring it up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, and let the fish cook. I'll be back. Hi, okay, so it's been about 15 minutes. Okay, that's what it looks like. Everything check for doneness, right? Fish is cooked usually. Uh, vegetables are cooked. These cook really easily because they're soft vegetables. So I'm just going to garnish it with mint. Okay? You can put whatever you want. Mint, cilantro, but mint's kind of nice with fish. So give it a rough chop. You're not looking for even chop because you actually want some big and small pieces. It doesn't matter. Use as much as mint as you want. Actually before that, now this is optional. Uh, from this you can actually make two kinds of curry. One is the sour tamarind curry which has no coconut milk. Now we have a little bit of leftover coconut milk. I'm going to add that in. That actually transforms the flavor completely to a different kind of curry. Okay. So it depends on what you want. Two very different types. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit. Okay, and give it a taste. Could do with a little bit of salt. So, I think there are a lot of vegetables. Kind of may have diluted the saltiness. And just top it with the mint. I'm going to serve it out of this pan itself. So, the mint just goes on top. And that's basically the dish. It's really simple, really fast, healthy. Uh, try to make it at home and subscribe. Thank you.